But gee, I mean, it might as well be what? The RCR Mitsubishi yeah. fridge freezer <laughs> cup? I mean, where do we end with this? The RCR Mitsubishi microwave oven special <laughs> offer two for one cup? Where do we end with these Mickey Mouse names? <laughs> Welcome back to part two of Yahoo Football Weekly with me, Yahoo columnist Neil Humphreys, and I forgot to say award winning. Award winning. <laughs> award winning, award -winning podcast. podcast. Yes. With your good self. Yeah, Yahoo editor Chia Han Kyung. And with us, Haizam. Man City fan friend. and uh, Man Singapore fan. Singapore. Before anyone diss me, what we're yeah. talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So you're a bit of a bandwagon jumper, aren't you? <laughs> because now that we're winning awards like Manchester City, you only associate oh. yourself <laughs> with oh, award winners. Of oh. course, man, of course. Ride the board, yeah. right? Like, good, good, good. Ride, ride, ride the gravy train. Train. Why not? I'm good claiming this for ride my Ride that <laughs> gravy train, man. Ride, ride that gravy nah, train. Nah, yeah. nah, joking, joking. <laughs> no, I'm serious. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's all good. But seriously, <laughs> thanks to you, we had the Singapore national coach on last week, yep, Ogura. Yep, yep. Uh, thank you to him again. Yeah, and quite FAS engaging in the view, I should say. Yeah, I thought yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Considering there was a lot said about his English proficiency yeah. or lack of. He spoke yes, he was okay. Minutes, yeah. yeah, it was broken English, but it was understandable English. I didn't think there was yeah. a huge issue there. No, I don't think Unlike previous Hopefully, coaches. Yeah, I like, I like the previous coach. So... There were quite a lot of comments which came in mm. after after the, the podcast. So we go through about three of them. So Ferdows SG, uh, this this guy is a bit positive. He says coach should be given a chance. His English will improve in the next few months. Maybe he can even speak Malay or Mandarin by the end of 2024. I got a bit of confidence in him. Yes, he has ready vibes. That's oh, thing. That's good. And he hopes he can stay stern and disciplined with the players. Yeah, that's a really good yeah, comment good, good actually comment. because... I mean, I mentioned that last week. He did give off, uh, Agora gave off an air of pragmatism, I yes. felt. Singapore coaches have only ever succeeded when it they've been pragmatic. Mm. When it was Barry Whitbread in 1998, that when in the first Tiger Cup, Very when it was Radio Romovich in the 2000s, it was, look, I haven't got time to have all these idealized principles. We're not good enough. Our talent pool isn't big enough. Mm. I've got these 15, 20 players. I'm going to gel them together, drill them, drill them, drill them, maximize every last bit I can get out of all of them and hope for the best. So, so, so basically, I think there was a bit of an augur of pragmatism there as well. So, so basically, Jose Mourinho. Yeah, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it'll work. Yeah, yeah. it'll work. It'll work. It'll work. It'll work. Yeah. Work. We haven't got a choice. Yeah. I don't think. I mean, Ogura kind of said that, didn't he? Yes. He's just got to discipline them, drill yeah. them, and get the best fighting out of spirit. Them. Yeah, so, so fighting he spirit. He spoke a lot about fighting spirit. Absolutely. And I, and I absolutely agree. I think. I mean, we had we had Burn Stanger. You still remember him? Oh, man. And then he said Tiki Taka football. Yes, yes, we can have Tiki Taka oh. football. And you know, two two years later, he's he's gone. And if yeah. we go even further, you know, remember Jal Posen? Jal Posen, yes. Jal Posen, the Danish, Danish yeah. star oh, football. Man. Can't forget that one. So we'd, look, we'd love to play Ange ball and Pep ball. I would just play keep ball. <laughs> just, just, just keep the ball. Like, yeah. just keep no gurgum pressing. That, that's a please, starting point. Please, please no gurgum pressing yeah. for Pragmatism. Yeah. Yeah. Give them the fighting spirit, mm. galvanize the camp, and then go from there. Mm. And I think yeah. that's what Agura said. So. Yeah. So, 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 yeah, I think I think we should give him a chance. The, the, like, like we said like, yes, last week, two, two games coming up uh, at the end of the month. China uh, against China, go and see them and make make a make and then see 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 if you know there's some fight you yeah, know what it. is there's some improvement in there. We certainly hope it happens. Yep, and and we certainly hope that you know may, at the end of the year there's the AFF Mitsubishi Electric Cup, uh, Electric, Electric Cup. Cup. Yeah. We'll talk about that later. Uh, that that will be the aim. Maybe get get us at least get us out of the group stage. Yeah. You know, go in the semi-finals and after that we'll see what happens. Maybe things will improve. Yeah. But the yep. comments kept coming, right? Yeah. We had uh, both sides. I like this one. Yeah. From, uh, was it? Uh, Chua, Chua, Chua Sing Kiang. Yeah. Like, okay. At the end of the day, the, the team is still judged based on results. People don't care how well or bad the team performs, but whether the team wins or loses. Don't play well but still win is more appealing than play well but don't win. Pragmatism, yeah. that is yeah. pragmatism. Mm, yeah. I, it yeah, but, is. But still, I, I get the sentiment. Good. I do get yeah. the sentiment, but I, I do think it's a bit unfair. Look, I believe, call me naive, but most Singapore Lions fans, Lions fans, mm. not Facebook armchair critic right, fans, right. proper fo local football fans, they're not bandwagon jumpers. Mm. And then they're not naive. I've never heard a Singapore football fan say, we need to be Argentina or we need mm. to be France or England. They just want to see progress, improvement. Mm. And that's what I said with Ogura last week. 
look, we are still going to lose games. Let's not kid ourselves. Mm. But if a, if a discernible, discerning Singapore football fan mm-hmm. can see progress, I think they'll take that mm. in the short term. Of yeah. course, they've got to win games as well. They can't lose every single game and just say, oh, but it was a slight improvement. No. But I think if they see steady progress, I think they'll give a guru a chance. I, I think I think coming back again, like okay, uh, the definition of progress here. Mm. Okay, I think uh, one example that we can look at is actually uh, our neighbors in Malaysia. They had, uh, they were holding like Jordan, uh, I think versus Jordan, it? like zero zero, and then Jordan no, scored like scored the last minute goal. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think if you look at it, that is progress because you know like you, yes, you, that yes. is progress. That, we'll take the small wins. Yeah. You know, so I think what what Neil mentioned is that. Yeah, we if we are talking about we are playing like powerhouses, we are playing against China. Like if we we lose to them one nil, like, I mean it's progress. Correct. You know? If we win, yeah, it's it's a bonus. But then if we lose like one nil or two nil, uh, but we did, yeah. we did give them a fight. Then that's progress. I couldn't agree more. Yeah. Just yeah. to add to that, you're so right about that, Haizam. Yes, Malaysia are unlucky, and yes, there's an argument they should have done slightly better. But you cannot deny Malaysia's progress. Mm. Just being there in the Asian Cup up against the big boys, holding their own. You most mean, of yeah, the most time. Of the, yeah. That in itself is a benchmark. That is a template for Singapore to follow. Yeah, but I also think that there is a sense of uh, urgency among the fans because we are falling right quite far yeah, behind. Yeah, Malaysia. Yeah, already, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. Malaysia is doing well right now yeah. and then we are falling behind and, and really it bugs, I think it bugs a lot of fans yeah. that that we are we are so far behind. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Like, we have, we, we have far behind giants, Ma- yeah, yeah. Malaysia. That's true. And, and, and you know, just but but I also think just ten years ago, um, Malaysia were actually in the doldrums, mm. and and Singapore were on the ascent, and you know this thing will be is cyclical. Yes, right now right now Malaysia are doing things right. That's why they they they, they are going out so far ahead, and you know, as long as fans can see that Singapore are doing things right, you no, know, even though they are the results might be, they might win a bit small wins draws and even losses but things are, if things are doing right like let's hope that this higher is right mm. then and and the gap between Malaysia maybe slowly close it may, may, you may not see them close in the long short term but long run maybe suddenly there'll be a, a moment of a, a moment where they all, all suddenly improve and then the hope is that mm, but, yeah. but but obviously right now that this the set the, as fans I think we should we should give Ogura uh, yeah, I, I think I think the issue comes from this is that like we, I think the the last one I remember that like, we played against Timor Leste, I think yeah. was it Timor Leste? Mm. Uh, Guam, uh, Guam or something. Yeah. That, and we struggled. Yeah. You know, we lost. Guam, so, Guam. so I think the fans and I can understand from the fans and It's mm. like we are no longer the the Southeast Asian powerhouses. No. You know, if no. we can't, but we haven't been, been for a while. Yeah, yeah, but then again, I think I think coming we get back again to the point of like we have to look at our infrastructure first and foremost, mm. our system. How are we playing? You know, like are we are we expecting too much from players just because you know we have this history of like we are supposed to be the powerhouse I think right now yeah. pragmatism comes in place we have to be we have to temper our expectations mm. let's take the small wins yeah. yeah and I think most important thing is that coming back again let's like okay this is no this to the FAS you know like if we really want to unleash the raw that we really have to make it do it proper yeah. do it proper do it once so on the point of small wins which I think we all agree on slightly at odds with our next commenter <laughs> who wants us to go <laughs> Not just small wins, wants to take a huge, huge leap off. forward. Yeah. Um, Ning385 um, says, on a financial perspective, as the Japanese yen depreciates against other currencies. It's all about the money. No, it's all, it's all about, about, about the money. Yeah. Talented chi- Japanese players will be much more motivated to play in Singapore. And FAS should take the opportunity to expand the league by collaborating with foreign clubs Introducing foreign players and technical coaches and allowing local football clubs to participate in the mm. Japan's Japan League aggressively. Wow. Are you uh, are you watching uh, the same football as are we you are watching? On, the, are, are, are you on? on? Before I get into <laughs> like, again, for the hundredth time, Singapore must be the only nation in the world where we assume that footballers all around the world, young footballers, are now monitoring currency exchanges. <laughs> <laughs> so oh there's a kid right now yeah. on a housing estate in yeah. Liverpool oh, or Japan London yen, going, Japan yen. Oh, good, yeah, good. the Japanese yen. Can you get me a... Nobody <laughs> thinks like this. Nobody talks I mean, like I mean, this. You can go for holiday. I don't. We don't. We're not stopping yeah. it to go yeah. because the Japanese yen is 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 weak. But <laughs> yeah, look, I admire the enthusiasm. I do. I love the posi- the, yeah. the the ambitious idea yeah. that we have. You know, yeah, I love like the idea that. that one day we could send a team to Japan. 
But all I would say is maybe we have to temper the enthusiasm a little bit. We don't even have enough teams for our own league. (laughs) We're still trying to get teams. There's one team that still haven't confirmed yet. Exactly. So, and also, I'm guessing the idea would be it would be a combined team of sorts, maybe our best players send them to Japan. Lions 12, like that. Exactly. It just screams Mm -hmm. Lions 12. We did that before. It didn't work. Mm. It was a bit of a basket case. Yep. I said at the time it wasn't going to work. Yep. Nobody listened to me. You cannot put all your eggs in one basket yeah. when the basket is so damn small in the first place. <laughs> we did the Lions 12. It nearly killed the S League yes. dead. It yep. barely, barely survived. Yeah. Any resources we have, playing resources, coaching resources, club resources, must all be funneled into the Singapore yes. Premier League yeah. for the foreseeable and future. Go for fans. Don't don't think about the J League or whatever. Yeah, let's uh, go and watch the SPL games, please. Yeah, maybe don't sit there looking at currency rates. Yeah, just look at the look at the fixture list. Yeah, just look at the fixture list. Yeah. Lions City sellers got some good players. Go and watch. I, I the think, games. I think the, like the idea is that this is very ambitious. Mm-hmm. You know, saying like, oh, because Singapore has this infrastructure, yada yada. I mean, not wrong. You are very ambitious, yeah. Yeah. but. Let's this not notch it. Let's, concert. let's notch yeah. it down few steps. Yeah, I think you are what you are watching right now is that you know, like you are talking about, like in, introducing foreign players. Like, are you watching the same as I uh, know SPL? Yeah, as we are watching. You know, yeah. the other fans is like we have foreign players. Yeah, they are. They have foreign, have foreign players. Japanese players yeah. which are good. Go and watch them. Yeah, you, you, you. I, th- I am sure that you, you, the internet is there for you to research. You know, like yeah. I think Japanese Rovers had this tie up with uh BC. But yeah. No, yeah. yeah. So you, the thing is that the idea is there. You know, but the problem lies is that our pool of players is negligible, negligible at best. Yeah. We don't have enough players to make. Mm. You know, the fact that, you know, I think we are going to answer that question about the heritage players. Mm. The fact that we have to look players yeah, who have yeah, good nationality. We just don't have But then again, coming talent. back again, our pool of players, our infrastructures need a lot of work. I mean, look, we have some very good uh, Singapore bands. You mentioned Taylor Swift. Mm. We have some very good <laughs> Singapore bands playing in hotels and clubs, but nobody's saying they should play at Madison Square Garden. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Ooh, well, not yet. That is a big jump. Big, you know big what I mean? Yeah. We've got to sort yeah, out yeah. the homegrown scene first Great. and then go to... But look, we admire the enthusiasm. We really but do. it's a long way to go. Yeah. But something that probably confirms everything we have just said, yeah. or at least what I believe, is just how far we have to go in terms of logistics, organisation... Yeah. With this whole oh yeah the ASEAN uh, Cup farce, correct. I think it's a farce. Yes, I, me too. So the um, the AFF Mitsubishi Electric Cup or the AFF Championship or the Tiger Cup, oh, whatever the Suzuki Cup, or the Suzuki yeah, Cup, yeah. whatever you, you, you <laughs> what's the about, actual name of it? This one, this AFF Championship. Yeah, yeah but now, the, with a sponsor. So now they did Mitsubishi. another rename, yeah. rebranding called yeah. ASEAN Mitsubishi Electric oh, Cup. It's ASEAN now. Now it's called course. ASEAN. Okay. I mean, For, I, I don't want to mock because we need sponsors. Yeah. But I mean, it might as well be what? The ASEAN Mitsubishi yeah. fridge freezer <laughs> cup? I mean, where do we end with this? The ASEAN Mitsubishi microwave oven special <laughs> offer two for one cup? Where do we end with these Mickey Mouse names? I'm Mitsubishi sorry. Mitsubishi Electric is the <laughs> and I'm very grateful the to have them. And the ASEAN, which they can never get it oh, yeah, uh, tied yeah, down. Yeah, 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 Anyway, okay. So they announced it, and then uh, all the fanfare of all oh, our rebranding exercise. Yeah, like okay, fine. The Mitsubishi air conditioning. Yeah, cup. yeah, yeah. Patting each other on the back. Okay, fine. And then they they announced the dates of the competition, which will happen at the end of this uh, end of this year. It's it's on it's from November to December. So usually it's usually the 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 event is also always around in December to January. So we thought like, oh, okay, you want to move it earlier to. This um, November, December shouldn't be a big problem, but actually it's a very big problem because the dates, firstly, firstly for a 10 team tournament to play one whole month is a bit too long, a bit too long. Uh, of course. Yeah. Two it, weeks it could, enough. You can shrunk it to two weeks. Secondly, the dates, because it's one month, it clashes with both AFC Champions League, the first, the Elite and the C- ACL2 mm competitions and that's where the big problem lies Lion City Sailors will play ACL2 Tampanese Rovers will play in ACL2 Johor Daru Tasim will be ACL1 ACL Elite and now I think the ba- ba- Bangkok the, the, the Bangkok Thailand Glass, yeah, uh, yeah. Bangkok Glass or ba- Batum will also be playing in ACL1 tell me how are they going to release the players and mo- I, and I believe most of the most of the national players will come from these mm. top clubs. How are they gonna negotiate this 
club versus uh, oh. country thing. It's going to mm. be a minefield. It's going to be a minefield. Could not agree more, yeah. my friend. I could not agree more. Look, it's a great opportunity for players mm. in the region to take part in a regional tournament. Mm. And I saw Sassy Kumar's comments. Obviously, he scored the winner, winner famously, the, the Blade, Blade of, of, God, of God. The Blade of God, 98. Yeah. So it's a great platform for regional players. We know that. But when an ASEAN Championship, which is a non-FIFA yes, sanctioned the event, yeah. which is why it can be played at any time, when it clashes with these AFC FIFA endorsed events, all it does is makes the ASEAN Cup look like a Kampong Cup. Absolutely. It makes it look like a small cup, like mm. it's a puddle, like it's Ikan Bilis, like it's insignificant, it's unimportant. Yeah. And all it really does is reinforces the stereotype that we are small time. Yeah. We don't count. We're yeah. unimportant. And when you factor in the best players in the region probably can't even play, then it looks even more no. like a cup on cup. Mm. I do not yeah. understand why they keep doing yeah. this. And, and you know, it could have been solved very easily by, by you know, looking at the schedule, planning it, planning it properly in advance, you know, or even shrinking the the the, the event so that you can fit, fit, no matter if it's a non-FIFA sanctioned event, it's possible to fit during those the, 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 that period. But no, still a one-month event, still a two-legged semi-final, two-legged final. Where do you have two-legged final nowadays anymore? And then you put it in November, December, when yeah. half of Southeast Asia it's, goes on holiday. And half and most of Southeast Asia is raining like mad. Yeah. <laughs> and the other half's in Japan <laughs> on holiday. So I don't get the logic of this at any level. What do you think? It's ridiculous. Oh, uh. To be honest, absolutely. it's really short-sightedness on the organizers, first and foremost. Uh, coming back coming back to the point again, it's all about the money. It's With the fact that, you know, we have two-legged final, mm. which is unheard of. It says a lot, like, why do you need two-legged finals? Mm. I mean, can't we just decide, like, if you have the host country, yeah. just have it one, settle it. Yeah. You know, but the fact is that, okay, we are looking at how to make it exciting. This is not exciting. The fact that you are losing the elite players mm. because of the EFC Champions League, it yeah. makes the league, it makes the tournament if not even a second return. Correct. It's it's really going to it. the point to be like a C. Inconsequential. Yeah, it's, it's like, <laughs> like you are, like, you know, the term, you know, you're just the, the hero kampong of <laughs> yeah. the Southeast Asia. And it's, the, the title has become so insignificant to the point that right now, if we are losing the best players because of the Asian Champions League, it is really significant. It just becomes a bragging right for like, you know what? I, I want to be like, you know, like Malaysia wants to have that first title. Yeah. You know, it be, and then, you know, like, how do we solve this? And then, you know, the internal bickering of like, we need to release players for the best yeah. players, blah, blah, blah. And, and it's going to affect everyone. Yeah. And, and you know, Thailand, they have already not sending their best teams to this AFF thing the last, the last, the last time around. They send their sort of their second string. Those just going to become it's the like first the BT, string. Yeah, it's like it's the almost BT, by the B yeah. team. If Thailand does this and 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 they are the powerhouses of this Southeast Asia, what does it, what does that speak of that tournament? Couldn't it's, agree more. Yeah. What do you guys think? Should yeah. it even be played in November, December? Is it a Kampong Cup? Send all your comments to Yahoo Southeast Asia on YouTube, Yahoo SG, Yahoo underscore MY on Twitter, Yahoo SEA on TikTok. Right. I want to finish. I've got a bit of a rant to finish with, what? but it's Go a good ahead. one. Right. So I'm watching. Sunderland till we die. Are you watching Sunderland. That's, no, it's a great. I tell you, it's one of the best football documentaries because they're crap. Right? Yeah, it's actually, just hilariously bad. Black cats. Man. It's the complete yeah. opposite to Wrexham. Make right? us hit you. <laughs> so, I know, but it's it, it's on Netflix. Do watch it. So I'm watching season three of Sunderland till we die, and I've, I'm looking at this young kid. Well, I say kid. He's 29. Luke O'Neill. And I'm thinking, I know this name, Luke O'Neill. I know, and he becomes a star in the show. He's injured, and then he comes back defensive midfielder and he completely transforms their whole season right. and I'm sitting there with my daughter going Luke O'Neill Luke O'Neill how do I know this name Luke O'Neill <laughs> and he's the manager. star of Sunderland right <laughs> he's the guy who should be playing for Singapore Absolutely. he's the guy whose great pitch. uncle was Lim Kim Sun the, the, <laughs> the founder of HDB he's the guy that qualifies to play for Singapore as a heritage player under FIFA rules what are we waiting for he's just played his 250th game for Sunderland oh. He is Sunderland captain. He was Sunderland player of the season in all but name. He saved their entire campaign last season. He's a defensive midfielder in the Declan Rice mould. He's in the form of his life. 
That man should be in a Singapore jersey. What on earth do we have to do to get that man to play for Singapore? You know what you have to do? You have to send that Netflix season three, send it to Mindef, send it to MC, I, I, to, to FAS yeah. to show that this, this is the guy. This is the guy. I'm sitting there speechless because he's he becomes a central figure in this documentary, right? And my daughter's watching. He said, Oh, he's really good looking, this guy, right? So she's so I'm I'm Googling him. I think I know this name, Luke. It's him. It's the Singaporean kid. It's him. And it's the same as Perry Ng in yeah, Cardiff City, yeah, who was oh. also the player of the season last season for, for the club. And you know, he is also a heritage player. And and no, I mean we've we've actually talked about this yeah, I think last season. Yeah. Yes. And now it's the second, we are in the middle of the second season already. Still got nothing. Nothing, no news, no nothing, no What's bits happening? of it. What's happening? As, as high as I'm said, you know, learn from Malaysia. The reason Malaysia are leaving us behind <laughs> and qualifying for the Asia <laughs> Cup naturalized players. is because they've got naturalised players. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're taking advantage of a legitimate rule, the heritage player. Where is Singapore? Why is Singapore not following Malaysia? The because irony, we're just being yeah. fallen the behind. The irony of it, we were the one who started the exactly. ball rolling. Yeah, but half of them guys, no, 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 half of those guys, no disrespect, uh, were not even legitimate yeah. Singaporeans. <laughs> yeah, they this were just- This guy <laughs> was related to Lim Kim Son. I don't, I don't, I, I don't I, know I, what I, else. I, mind boggles. Yeah. It's like really mind boggling. Like, I think we spoke about this before. We spoke about this in the first last few episodes. Just, it's like, you see, like the problem is that the red tape that we have with Minda, the red tape that we have with FAS, you know, like, like, why is it because the fact that you feel that it's uh you are depriving Singapore f- fans of those players, you know, who look at it like you know I, I I can't play for the national team because we are looking at this naturalization thing. But here's the thing. Right now, we started the ball rolling in Southeast Asia by having naturalized players. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why suddenly now we are so afraid of this issue? Because we chicken out. Because we have we there were where was criticism. Because of some short-sighted fans who doesn't yeah. who didn't see this when we first started, when when we 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 have, I mean when we are doing media work during those years, yeah. we keep on saying that it's a good thing. It's 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 a good logical way to you know improve the team. But some fans are uh, think think like oh and no, they play the NS card. Yeah, they they, NS card. they, they never NS. play NS. So Why they by do? that logic yeah. alone, right? Fandi's son will not be eligible. <laughs> Why? Because the fact is that they are they are, they are not they are they are half you know half Singaporean. Huh? Oh, I see. They've got South African yeah, mother. South African mother. Huh? You know, they actually sacrifice. They felt like you know what? Okay, like okay, I'll do the necessary. You know. Yeah. But the thing is that like, why aren't you like allowing this? Like you know, you can you could have done it. You did it with Daniel Bennett. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think Daniel Bennett served NS. If I if I no, you know, they did Well, if we could do no, that, do it. Yeah, like yeah. why can't we do it with this other players? Yeah. But and look at the national service they have since given the country, both of them. I mean, yeah. Daniel uh, uh, Durich is now running active SG football. So I think I think NS is one issue which I think can be solved. The the thing is that you are asking them to give up the British citizenship. That's the key. Yeah, that might be the key. That is no. Somehow, they, they, I, I believe they are negotiating. I, I, but I in believe, the case of Luke yeah. O'Neill, he wouldn't have an issue with that mm. because I know there's rules about non-British citizens yeah, playing yeah. in the UK, mm. but he plays at a decent enough level mm. where it shouldn't yes, be an issue. That's that's right. Uh, but honestly, guys, seriously, when you finish watching this, go on Netflix, watch Sunday Till I Die, watch how good this boy is, yes. and just. I don't know, send in something to Mindev, send us, or send the comments to us. <laughs> and we will discuss them. Send all your comments to Yahoo Southeast Asia on YouTube, Yahoo SG, Yahoo underscore MY on Twitter, and Yahoo SEA on TikTok. And Luke, if you're watching this, <laughs> We are, the weather in Sunderland is crap, all right? It's, it's beautiful here. You can get a nice meal for five bucks in any hockey centre in Singapore. It's a great place to Has live. Have you ever been to Singapore? That's why I'm not. I, I don't know. I, 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 I the think Singapore dollar is strong. Yeah. we got Taylor Swift here all week. What you, else do you, you want Taylor Swift? We bring Taylor Swift in back again. Oh, 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 it just drives me mad. Anyway. And this goes for Perry Ung as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Perry Ung, we, Luke Onion, we want you here in Singapore. Anyway, thanks as always. Always Heiser, my friend. Thanks Thank very you much for having for me. Coming. Love, love the engagement. Love when, the when, discussion. When Man City finally wins again. <laughs> <laughs> this weekend. You can, <laughs> you can come back. You can come back. <laughs> but when Luke <laughs> only and finally takes the Singapore <laughs> citizenship, you cannot come back. Because <laughs> Luke, 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 Luke will be sitting. the next one. Yeah. Luke will be sitting <laughs> right there. As always, guys, thanks for all your comments. Do keep them coming. And we'll see you again next week. Next week.
Luke, you know who to call. 